Hi everybody, hope everybody's doing really well today. Um, I'm gonna take you just a super quick uh, trip around the garden. It is September 28th and uh, we have had exceptionally hot, dry weather um, the last month or so. Uh, so a lot of things in my garden are hurting. The things that I could reach with my hose are doing great, but those that I couldn't reach are not doing great. But I just wanted to give you some, uh, just an update on what I'm gonna do for maintenance this fall. Um, I'm just gonna trim some things out. Um, you can hear the water fountain behind me, which is always such a nice thing to hear. Anyway, so, all right, let's start. Here's a sweet potato vine that always goes crazy here and I never did get it up there. Um, the shop has just been so busy, which is a good, which is awesome, awesome. But it also means that I, I don't get to go outside. So like I said, I was able to water this flower bed, so it's doing pretty good. Um, my pots are doing all right too. I gave them a kind of a pruning. Um, I think I showed that in the last video. Um, the houses are looking sad like they always do this time of the year. It's just, um, they're full sun and that's not where they need to be. So we got to figure out something for next year. Maybe we can just redo the whole bed. So here's the Celosia, which I told you gets to be about eight feet tall and then a monster. So I'm going to cut that down here in the next couple days, throw some of the seed, take some of the seed heads and then I'm going to throw it back here. And I think that'll be really pretty against the brick building. As, as much as this is a showstopper and it makes people stop and ask a lot of questions, um, it's not the right place for it. It kind of shades out some of my flowers here. And anyway, so as you can see, things are looking, I just love, I'm gonna do this in the front, not this color, but a different one. Showstopper, very nice. So, take you a quick look here take all the seed heads off my garlic chives. They seed themselves everywhere. So everything's looking good. Tricolor sweet potato vine always takes over too. All of them do really. Isn't this a nice one? I think I might do this in the, um, the pots downtown. Very nice interest. It's like the dark when it first comes and it gets lighter, but it doesn't take over. I think that's gonna be my choice next year for that. So, and remember I talked about this salvia. It looks really cute, but from a distance, it's really hard to see, in my opinion anyway. I mean, it's really striking what I've got. The two coleus is the lime and the dark one, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll plant that one again. See the pots that didn't quite get water? <laughs> Got one petunia that looked good. How are you, Fred? This is finally snapped back out of it. Um, like I said, it was just crazy dry here, you guys. So you'll see a lot of my pots are not doing very well. So I can reach them with a hose here. And you know, after a while, it just takes a lot of time to get a watering can and sprinkling here. So hopefully I'll get a new hose for next year. So I've got some butterfly um, weed here that's part of the milkweed family is going to seed so that needs to be cut off dill um, and then our coneflowers are going to seed here so I'm going to have to cut those off so I don't have them growing all over the place this bed just really suffered because of the just heat and drought and stuff I've got these sunflowers that I planted oh I think three or four years ago but they've worked their reseeded themselves to the front of the garden. Got some awesome bees. I just love it here. So, um, so I'm going to try to just uh, gather some of the seeds here, you guys, and then um, plant those in the back too. Look at all the bumblebees here. Look at them. Awesome. So, see how they've worked in the way to the front? So, um, German um, Russian sage, I have to cut that back severely. It's an old fashioned variety that I grew in my greenhouse years ago and it just gets really invasive and so I'll have to cut that down. 
it's easier to do it now in the fall than it is in the spring. It just is a little bugger. So anyway, some more coneflowers I gotta dehead. And um, yeah, look at this cute little thing. Hardly got to water it, but it really did well. So we'll have to find a new place for, I think it's Surefire Begonia. And I think they came out with a white one this year, but I, I didn't find it or I didn't buy it. So, so those are some of the things that I need to do um, sometime in the next week or so. Oh, and I've got some uh, some fun news. You know, I talked about how. Um, I hope I'm not going too fast with my camera. I apologize. And my little bunny. See my bunny. See my bunny. I don't like bunnies. Anyway. Focus. Um, how I have this raised bed here, right here, um, and then I was going to mirror it here. I just ordered my brick and we picked it up a couple days ago. So, whenever um, the husband is done harvesting, we are going to work on that. And I'm so excited, you guys. I also ordered a bunch of bunch of bunch of bulbs. So, we're going to plant these beds full of bulbs. And, um, and then I get to buy more flowers next year. So I am super excited about that. So won't that be fun to have that mirrored over and just possibilities are great. So, well, that's it for today. Oh, I know, I'm gonna show you the front of my building. Got a really nice hydrangea here in the corner of the lot. Um, I opted to go simple in my window boxes this year. I just got some ornamental cra uh, cabbage and just some gourds and just put some decorations there. I couldn't find any flowers that I really liked um, in the right color. Um, I try to avoid purples and stuff, but that's about all I could find. Uh, and uh, the miniature mums, they just don't bloom very long, so I opted not to do that. But I found some Rebecca. I think this is Maya. This is the variety of Maya. Um, it's doing amazing, except for it's really windy here in the street. As you can see, I'm on Main Street, and the wind really blows here. And when I bought them, they were in a protected greenhouse. So um, even though they look really cute, they do look, they break real easy. And um, But one thing I like about these better than mom's is that there, it's, it's you know it's kind of a, a perennial not here in our zone but a zone six I think and we're four um, it's just gonna start it's just gonna keep blooming so that's what I liked about it so I got those in both windows like I said the wind is just knocks them over but they're doing all right I did buy like I said purple's about the only mom I can find I was going to replace put those moms in those pots but man they're looking so gorgeous right now so Right now the temperature looks good. My um, ferns were looking a little sad, but they're snapping out of it too. That's on my railing. Nice cooler weather. Love it. Wish it would be like this all the time. And my house plants are still looking really nice in my window boxes. I have fall silk arrangements that I put up there, but we'll see. I'll see what how much time I have. So, well thanks for taking a quick tour with me tonight. Hope all is well. And many blessings.